Welcome to an example on how to subtract a mixed number from a whole number. We will look at two methods for determining five minus two and one six. For one method, we will use improper fractions, and for a second method, we will use mixed numbers. We will also model the difference using the fraction bars below. Notice here's a model for five, where each rectangle represents one unit, and here's a model for two and one sixth, and because we're subtracting two and one sixth from five, we want to remove or take away this quantity from this quantity. Using improper fractions, the first step is to write five and two and one sixth as improper fractions. To write five as an improper fraction, we write five with the denominator of one. Two and one sixth as an improper fraction will have a denominator of six and the numerator is six times two plus one, which is 13. If we look at the model for two and one six, and we cut all the pieces into the size of one sixth of a unit, we can see that two and one sixth is equal to 13 sixths. And now before we subtract, we need to have a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. And the reason we need this is because we need all the pieces to be the same size. Well, the least common denominator is the least common multiple of one and six, which is six. We need to write both improper fractions as the equivalent fractions with the denominator of six. Well, 13 six already has a denominator of six. To write five over one as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of six, we multiply the numerator and denominator by six. Notice this gives us 30 six. If we go back over to our model for five, if we cut all the pieces into the size of one sixth, we can see we will have 36. Notice five does equal 36. And now that we have a common denominator, or now that all the pieces are the same size, we can subtract. The denominator remains the same. The numerator is 30 minus 13, which is 17. The difference is 17 six. But notice how this is an improper fraction. Let's also write this as a mixed number. To do this, we divide 17 by six. There are two sixes in 17. Two times six is 12. We subtract the difference as five, and therefore the quotient is two and five six, which means 17 six equals two and five six. Let's go back and look at our model. We want to remove 13 copies of one six from 30 copies of one six. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we want to remove these 13 copies of one six from these 36. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 six removed from 36. And notice how we're left with a total of six, 12, 17 copies of one sixth, which is also equal to two and five six. Now let's find this difference again using mixed numbers. Again, we have five minus two and one sixth. Notice how we don't have a fraction here to subtract one sixth from, which means we need to perform an exchange. We'll exchange one unit of the five for six six. To better understand this, Let's look at this model here. We can exchange this unit for six sixths, which means you can write five as four and six sixths. Looking at this in more detail, if we begin with five, we know five is equal to four plus one and one is equal to six, six. We can write this as four plus six, six, which is four and six, six. And again, we need to do this because we need to subtract this one sixth. So we'll leave two and one sixth the same. And now we subtract six, six minus one six is five, six. And now we subtract the whole numbers. Four minus two is two. And notice how we get the same difference. Going back to the model one last time, we want to remove this quantity from this quantity. Let's first remove this one sixth. Now we'll remove these two units. Let's say we remove these two units. Notice how we're left with two n five six, 
which again is our difference. I hope you found this helpful.